Savior. Deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. Thou knowest, Lord, the secrets of our hearts. Shut not thy merciful ears to our prayer, but spare us, Lord, most holy, O God, most mighty. O holy and merciful Savior, thou most worthy judge eternal, suffer us not at our last hour for any pains of death to fall from thee. For as much as it hath pleased Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased sister, we therefore commit her to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day, in the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ at whose second coming is glorious majesty to judge the world. The earth and the sea shall give up the dead and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body. According to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself i heard a voice from heaven saying unto me right from henceforth blessed are the dead who die in the lord even so saith the spirit for they rest from their labors let us pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is, is in heaven. Give us this day, day our, our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, we forgive those who trespass against, against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. O merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, in whom whosoever believeth in him shall not die. Eternally. Who also has taught us by his holy apostle St. Paul not to be sorry as men without hope. For those who sleep in him, we humbly beseech thee, O Father, to raise us from the dead, death of sin, unto the life of righteousness, that when we shall depart this life, we may rest in him. And that at the general resurrection in the last day, we may be found acceptable in thy sight and receive that blessing which thy well-beloved son shall then pronounce to all who love and fear thee saying come ye blessed children of my father receive the kingdom prepared for you from the beginning of the world grant this we beseech thee O merciful father through jesus christ our mediator and redeemer amen Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. I just want to have a few words about Sister Pat. Her name was Patricia Ann Kozlak. And most people didn't know that she served in the United States Army. And we found out today at her graveside service that she was a private in the United States Army. Um, she was full of surprises. She was a great friend of mine. As a pastor's wife, um, I had some 
moments and times personally where after giving honor to whom honor is due throughout the years and throwing parties and celebrations for various people within the church, I sometimes seldom wondered, you know, if anybody ever thought about me, if anybody ever thought about throwing me a party, if anybody ever thought about honoring me for something or anything. I've had those thoughts maybe two or three times throughout the 23 years I've been a Christian because what I do for others, I'm not really looking for in return, but sometimes we have those thoughts in our head. I've never shared that with anyone before. I just kept that to myself. Well, to my surprise, God works through people we least expect. I was looking for that type of celebratory honor to come from someone that had the means to do so. Someone that was persuasive with other people. Someone who possibly had the money to pull something like that off or even be able to go around and secretly invite people like I do on other people's behalf. In 2009, sneakily, without me knowing anything about it, Sister Pat rented out a restaurant in Torrington. She sneakily invited all of the church members. She sneakily paid for this out of her own pocket. She asked no one for a dime for anything. She said, come to elders party. I couldn't believe it. She looked so beautiful. She had her jewelry on and her dress on and she stood proudly with her husband, brother Andy Coslack. That was the first party that anyone had ever thrown for me. And I'll never forget it. She was so happy. She was so proud. And she said I was her friend. A few years later, our friendship continued and she asked me if I would be her healthcare representative that if she ever became in a state where she couldn't make decisions for herself, if I would do that for her. Many of us know she was on dialysis for a number of years. And she would proudly bring the reports back to me saying how well she was doing physically. And anyone who knew Sister Pat knew that she was a fighter. All of her doctors said it was a miracle that she lived as long as she did. Mm -hmm, for sure. She would ask for prayer and she would ask me to play her favorite song, which we'll do at the very end. She would be someone that I would never forget because God used someone that I least expected to be a blessing to me. And that was not the only time she was a blessing. She continued to be a blessing. We only have a few moments out here, but I would like to open it up now for any of her friends or church members that want to share something briefly about Sister Pat. Now is your time to do so. say a little something. I knew Patty since we were kids. The home that I live in on Victoria Street was my grandmother's. We played up there when we were kids and we played together. <laughs> and uh, many years later I bought the home and Patty and I reconnected as friends and she'd come over and sit with me and we'd ha always have cake or <laughs> can I have a second piece and uh, just talk about everything. And uh, she was, she was a sweet girl, and, and I, I know where she is now. Amen. 
and with her mom and dad and, and um, rest in peace, Patty. The one that used to take Patty and Andy grocery shopping, laundry mat, and stuff like that. We used to go out to eat. And I lived across the street on Waters Avenue since I was in high school. So I kind of grew up with her too and everything. But um, she was a very nice person. And I, gonna, I miss her. I really do. The only woman I ever loved. And I told her, one of the last things I told my wife, I'll never forget you, Patty. And I won't ever. Yeah, I don't think any of us will ever forget Sister Pat. I feel blessed to have gotten to know her in the last few years of her life. She certainly enriched mine by many fun luncheon dates, and she always had room for dessert. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Definitely. So I'm sure she's enjoying being around the banquet table with our Lord. Yes. I thank God for her life and for him bringing her into mine. Just easy, Sister Pat. Yeah. I just want to thank God for bringing Sister Pat into my life. I thank God for the time that we had together and she would tell me that I'm like her second father that father figure and I thank God that he knows and what he's doing and that's why he's so important we look at years but we need to see season and that's why he's so important when God put like someone into your life to enjoy and I just thank God that I don't have to reminisce and say I wish she was here so I could do this for her I gave her her flower while she was living and I just thank God I remember the last time I talked with her on the phone went to the house I carried her some those fruit little cocktail thing that they, she wanted. And I always overdo something sometimes. Instead of getting a couple of them, I got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> but I just thank God, and I just thank God, amen, that he put her in my life, and I love her. And I'm hoping, I'm looking to see her again. Amen. Amen. Praise amen. God. Amen. Would anyone else like to have words so now we're going to play her favorite song and that'll be the end of the service
listen closely to her favorite part right here. And I played this song for her. She wanted to be back with her first love. And that's exactly where she is. God bless you all. Thank you for sharing in her celebration of love.